Disabled People Against Cuts was founded in October 2010 following the um, disastrous budget in June that year from George Osborne which announced lots of attacks against disabled people's rights. So we're organising a power tour as we're calling it because of course there will be people participating in, in wheelchairs as well as by walking and we'll be going around West Westminster visiting sites of some of our more creative um, and powerful protests since 2010. What we want to convey to participants are the reasons behind the protests. We want to convey what's actually been happening to disabled people and how they've been affected by austerity. But we also want to get across the barriers to protesting and getting our voices heard, speaking truth to power that disabled people face because of the material barriers we face in everyday life, such as not, be, not having the support to leave the house or different people communicating in different ways, problems with pu public transport, um, lack of, of money to travel. What that means is that we can't come together in large numbers. People often associate protesting with large numbers. The larger the protest, the more people think it's a, a priority issue. For us, we can't do that. So what we have to do is find creative ways to get our messages across. So we often use fun, drama, visual stunts. So we want to recreate some of those, some of what I'd call our best moments uh, around Westminster on on that tour. On it we're also going to be testing out a, um, an online tool which we hope to, to further develop in the future which will enable disabled people who can't physically attend our protests to be able to participate, not just to watch us on social media but to actually be there as individuals, to take part, to be able to communicate with people on the protest as a, as a more inclusive way of, of protesting in the future.